who's excited for another wild adventure. We are in Kawartha Lakes. Uh, this will be three videos in a row because we're doing exciting stuff today. We're gonna sleep in a hobbit hole tonight. We're doing exciting stuff tomorrow. So let's go. Come adventure with me. We are at the Altberg Wildlife Sanctuary Nature Reserve. This is one of the largest uh, nature reserves in Ontario. Uh, that's not a provincial park. Uh, it is though maintained by you know generous people and it's almost treated as a provincial park, but it is not owned by um, the provincial park system, if that makes any sense. Uh, so we will see there's three different paths you can go. They all kind of interlock. The hardest one is over two kilometers, which is not much. No, it's not. I can't do math. I believe, no, that's two kilometers. I can do math, I can do math, we're fine. So let's see how far we get. I do want to, um, it's, it's a beautiful day, so I want to enjoy it today, but I also want to go to a brewery after, so it all depends on timing. So, uh, let's go. Hey, little buddy. You're pretty cute. Oh, you're not in my frame, though. So this is absolutely amazing. I think I'm the only one out here. I think the squirrel is following me. Not that one, that's a different one. There's just squirrels everywhere. So, I mean, it's definitely wildlife, but it's absolutely amazing. I'm, I think I'm the only one out here because I was the only one in the parking lot. I mean, it's a Friday afternoon. Um, it's just so quiet. And I think like by the end of this, I'm gonna not have a coat on. It's, I mean, it's not that warm, but it is pretty warm. Um, the trails aren't like, I understand why they, this one I'm currently on is the medium. They all lead to each other. Uh, in, in the winter, it's not, you know, properly maintained, but pretty well. Like they're clearly walked all the time. There's fresh prints. There's also, I wish I was better at uh, tracking because there's, I think they're deer because they're small. But there's definitely, oh there, some prints. There might be a moose. Um, it's all wetlands in and around. So the signs do say that, I assume not now, but in the summer, there would be turtles and snakes. So. So far, I am very, very happy that I decided to come this. And I think I'm gonna do the full walk. We shall see. I kind of forgot water. I'm kind of dumb. You have to remember, like, I'm outdoorsy, but not smart outdoorsy. I only did girl guides for like two years. So I forget things like water. Um, oh my God, look at that sun coming through. I need to put my sunglasses back on. I'm just seeing where I am. Yeah, so now we're starting on, this is the difficult trail, but I'm not, here, I'll show you the map. That's what we're working on. So we all, we parked here. I used the washroom. It was, it was pretty good. We came down this way, walked on this side. I'm gonna skip this loop and we're just gonna go straight there to do the big loop there. Hopefully while I was pointing that was on camera. I don't know, we'll see. So we've come to the fork in the road and we're definitely taking the path less traveled. There's still a few people, but not much. But also like what, someone tell me what footprints are these? 
Oh no, there's no human prince this way. Although, I think you can come here in skis. So let's just hope. Nope, no, we have lost all prints in the direction I am going. All right, let's see where we end up. Yeah, so it's happened. I'm gonna have to remove layers, but I don't wanna put my backpack down in the snow, but I'm currently sweater open, jacket open. Hat will probably come off shortly. Sunglasses will go on. So it is gorgeous out here, just absolutely gorgeous. I like all these small, clearly bridges or little boardwalks, but you can't really see them. One day I'll do like a compilation all the bridges I've crossed because it's kind of my favorite part of hikes is when they have boardwalks. I don't know. How amazing is this? So I know I don't really put music on the back of these videos, but I'm so tempted. Ooh, hold on, giant hell. So tempted to leave this music list because it is, I've never been anywhere more quiet. Like it's silent. There's no wind today, but then it's also eerie because there's literally no birds. The squirrels have stopped following me. A little upset about that. Blech. Also, you'll notice I have shed layers. It got too hot. And I almost went sweater instead of uh, coat, but no, I don't want to be crazy now. Okay, I'm starting to see why they said this was difficult, especially in the snow. Should I film going down so I, you can all watch me fall? I'm gonna do it slowly. I think in the summer it would be fine, but especially because it's not like it's packed down. The snow is still very loose. There was one point back there that, honestly, I felt drunk. I could not walk in the straight line. There we go. So what I'm actually gonna call this video is how many outfit changes can I do in one winter hike? So this is number three. So you know, I love my uh, apps. I've definitely talked about Atlas Obscura. Um, I spend most of my time just doing research on Airbnb so I can play, find cool places like where I'm staying tonight. I'm out of breath, I should have brought some water. Um, and then there's two more I'm gonna talk about this video. The one is Wanderlog. It's amazing at helping plan this whole 
trip. It makes it really easy to look in an area and it kind of plots it out for you of what you should do in what order. Um, and then the one I just had to check is all trails, which works anywhere in the world and is great for finding trails. And I checked that one because I just felt like this has been more than two kilometers. I'm not that out of shape. Uh, though the snow adds. But uh, yeah, it does tell me I am off the trail by a bit, but that might just be because the GPS location is so bad in this area. And I can't walk and talk. But uh, yeah, I might be lost. But at the same time, it's a very well-marked trail, so probably not. I'm gonna blame all trails. But yeah, I definitely recommend having all trails. It's great for showing you what's nearby. And if you're in the middle of the woods, you can kind of figure out where the trail is supposed to be that Google Maps may not actually tell you. Oh, so here, hold on, let me show you this one. We found the boundary. Can you see it? Hold on. So there you go. I am where I'm supposed to be. We just, you know, we're on the border. Okay, so camera died. Um, so you get the phone, which is great. I also brought a GoPro without a battery. Who am I? We're gonna create a list of all the reasons I'm at all times unprepared for things. I mean, number one on this trip is water. But anyway, um, am I rating this place? Fantastic. We definitely come back uh, in the summer because it is a wildlife sanctuary and I only saw squirrels for like the first 15 minutes. And then even the squirrels. Oh, I see them now. It's like, no, I'm not gone. Uh, yeah, so definitely had a whole bunch of loops. I'm on a different one than the way I came back in. Uh, at first I was like, what do you mean this is difficult? Uh, there's definitely some hills. Um, I was definitely out of breath. I'm sure you heard that because I wear the microphone directly next to me and I'm sure someone will yell at me and it's supposed to be further away, whatever. I'm gonna guess parking is this way. Um, yeah, no, highly, highly recommend. And you can tell, so you can't tell, but you can, because there's like bridges, like my favorite. So this is all swampland or wetlands, I guess is the nice term. So it would be filled with wildlife when it's not snow. Uh, and clearly still well loved. This time of year, not the path I was on. I was clearly the only one who's walked there in a while. But this main, the easier and medium paths had lots of, it's pretty packed down, which makes it easier. The more difficult path, you were dealing with loose snow. Loose snow. See that times fast. Um, but yeah, so glad I came out here. I need a beer. So the first brewery of this trip was Fenelon Falls Brewery in the small town of Fenelon Falls in Kohartha Lakes. Uh, I had the whole place to myself. Highly recommend the beer. Was It was nothing overly special, but it was good. Like if you just like your ales and lagers, it, it was definitely worth the trip.